actress Kate Winslet has lived in some gorgeous homes over her career. One of these was a New York City Chelsea penthouse, a home she'd keep until recently, even though she didn't stay there too often. And another is her cozy beach house estate in West Sussex, England, worth a reported 3.3 million pounds. For the most part, Kate has chosen to live as much of her day-to-day -day life back home in England as she possibly can. Also, Michael and I dropped our very own house tour of our new home we moved into this year. So go ahead and subscribe to our family channel if you want to see where we're living and more of what we're up to. All at once you watch, let me know what you think of our home. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Few actresses have skyrocketed to fame faster than Kate Winslet did after starring in one of the most successful and popular films ever. I'm talking about Titanic with her role as Rose. But beyond starring in that James Cameron epic, Kate has gone on to establish herself as a force in Hollywood and is also one of the few people to amass a ton of awards, including an Emmy, a Grammy, a Golden Globe, and an Academy Award as well. Not bad for someone who started acting at 11 years old as an extra in a Sugar Puffs commercial, right? And even though Kate became a big time actress in Los Angeles, since then she refuses to let go of her roots. Well, at the height of her popularity, she and her husband bought and lived in a Manhattan penthouse. She spends most of her time at her lovely estate back in her native England. Hey guys, it's Kara back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, this time looking at where Kate Winslet calls home. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And now, let's get into this video. We're gonna kick things off by taking a look at the duplex penthouse that Kate and her former husband Sam Mendes purchased together back in 2004 for $4.9 million in New York City's prestigious Chelsea neighborhood. At the time, Kate was still pretty fresh off the success of Titanic, and only a few years earlier, Sam had wowed most of Hollywood with his filmmaking debut, American Beauty. After marrying in 2003, the following year, they'd buy a stunning 3,000 square foot urban mass masterpiece, located on a city block lined with trees and art galleries. This loft-like four-bedroom and three-and-a-half bathroom home boasts amenities like 13-foot high ceilings, whitewashed plank oak floors, and more than two dozen oversized windows that frame the one thing big-time celebs always pay for in New York, those wraparound city views. The layout consists of an elegant hallway with a timeless-looking round mirror set over top of a dark brown hall table that provides a warm welcome to all visiting guests. A few steps from there is the more than 1,100 square foot great room that's nearly 47 feet long and 24 feet wide. There are also floor to ceiling bookshelves here that stretch across the entire back wall, as well as a fireplace for cozying up to on cold New York nights. On the opposite end of the room, there's a simple but high-end open concept kitchen that's been fitted with butcher block countertops and custom milled wooden cabinets. Further details like a farm sink, a large center island and top of the line appliances from the likes of Viking and Sub-Zero round out the space. Then there are three of the home's four bedrooms, which are actually located on this lower floor as well, including the south-facing master suite that's made up of a walk-in closet with an updated vintage-style bathroom. The ensuite has a Venetian glass chandelier, as well as a classic claw-footed soaking tub and a tiled shower. A short walk upstairs and you'll discover a spacious den with another walk-in closet closet as well as an attached ensuite bath, which makes it more than suitable to be a fourth bedroom if one prefers. But the real star up here is what's behind those French doors, an approximately 1,700 square foot wraparound roof deck. Unfortunately, Kate and Sam would split in 2010 and she would then proceed to buy him out of his half of the home in 2012. Over the next few years, she'd continue to utilize this space whenever she was in town for work, but most of the time, she was renting it out for a reported $30,000 a month. 
At the end of 2020, Kate officially put the home on the market for $5.7 million, but ended up selling it for $5.3 million. As for where she headed next, well, it seemed like Kate was ready to cut her real estate ties with America for good and move back to England, more specifically to her main residence located in West Sussex. So let's take a look. Kate might be one of the most recognizable stars in Hollywood, but if she had her way, she'd much rather spend all of her free time living the quiet life in the British county of West Sussex, located on the coast of the English Channel. That's where she now lives, in the beautiful village of West Wittering, which boasts some of the most expensive properties in the entire county, while also being home to another particularly big-time English celeb in Keith Richards. I'm guessing you've probably heard of him before. And Kate isn't alone either. She's joined by her husband of almost 10 years now, Edward Abel Smith. Kate met him during, of all things, a house fire, while vacationing at his uncle's multi-million dollar property known as Great House with another man. During her stay on this Caribbean property, Hurricane Irene tore through the area, setting fire to the place. And despite everything that was going on, Kate couldn't help but notice that Ned was the only one who kept his head on straight. She told Entertainment Tonight, he was the only dude who had a head torch and a pair of shoes. Everyone else left everything behind. I took a bra and our passports and my children, so I married him. I was like, I'll go for the guy with the head torch. And while I'm sure there was a bit more to that, or at least I'm hoping there was a bit more to it than that, Kate hasn't regretted her decision since. She married Ned in December of 2012, and by the following year, they welcomed their son, Bear, and moved into this beachside mansion in West Sussex that reportedly set them back 3.3 million pounds. This 17th century house has been said to have undergone some very extensive renovations since Kate and her family moved in, including the additions of an in-ground swimming pool, pool house, and a garage. But for the most part, Kate has kept this multi-acre waterfront estate away from the public's prying eyes to ensure as much privacy as possible. However, in 2018, she actually allowed a film crew to utilize parts of the property to shoot a movie she was starring in at the time called Blackbird, alongside Susan Sarandon and Sam Neill. Watching that film, it's pretty evident that Kate's home combines a cozy and comfy beachside architecture with some modern design and decor. But I'm sure Kate Kate's decision to allow an entire film crew into the area didn't sit well with her neighbors, who to be honest, were already having some second thoughts about her. That's because in 2015, Kate ran into some hurdles while trying to build a massive seawall around her property out of fear that the rising sea levels would damage it. After submitting her proposal to local authorities, they came down hard on her ideas, and environmental groups claimed that her seawall would disturb the nesting activities of local bird populations. So so Kate went back to the drawing board and came up with a less invasive plan that would utilize weathered oak boards. The idea was met with approval and Kate was allowed to proceed. Regardless, Kate continues to live on this property with her hubby as well as her three kids. And whenever she isn't busy working on some new film or television project, she rushes right back home to be with them again. Sounds to me like Kate has finally found her perfect home and soulmate, even if his name isn't Jack. All right, everyone, that's going to bring this latest house tour to a close. Let me know what you thought about Kate Winslet's homes by dropping a few comments down below. As usual, thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. Follow me on Instagram to chat, and I'll see you all in another video. Bye.